Oh, why are we here? Ever ask yourself that question? Yeah, we're born in this godforsaken world. We learn to walk, talk, read, write, do math, etc., etc. Get sent to a concentration camp society calls school, where we're taught disinformation and how we have to listen and obey, or else you'll have your freedom of movement violated, even when you did absolutely nothing wrong at all. We're then told we must slave labor to acquire certain unnatural man-made items with no intrinsic value called money in order to acquire basic needs. And if you don't have enough money, you get left for dead in a gutter while the rest of society views you as some loser. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a society run by good people. Sorry, but it doesn't. And if that offends you, I, uh, I really don't care. A society where one has to earn the right to be alive? Uh, that's just not humane. And yes, it is the way it is, but only because we, as humans, collectively, are allowing it to be that way. That's right. We are helping to create and are complicit in our own suffering and the suffering of others. But of course people don't care. You know, as long as they get their wants and they get to keep their comfortable lifestyle, they don't care about ba people's basic freedoms being taken away. And this is a satanic mindset. Yeah, sorry, but it is. Uh, one of the main tenets of Satanism is the me-only attitude. Uh, a cooperation-based society instead of a money-driven one that's the good way to go. That's the way to go. Okay, we don't need money. We just need each other to do our part for, for the community. And scrap this idea of hierarchy where certain groups of people are above others and think they have the right to tell people how to think and act. All right, be a teacher and a way shower, not a boss or an authority figure. If we, if we did all of that, uh, just about all of the world's problems would f fade away very quickly. But anyway, why are we here? Why are you here? What's your purpose on this earthly dimension? Now, I've been able to discover why I'm here. My role on this earthly plane is to discover hidden knowledge, hidden truths, and expose lies. And this was actually said to me by an astrologer during a face-to-face -face astrological reading I had. Now, I know a lot of people don't believe in astrology, and that's fine. However, in my case, all I did was tell, tell this astrologer my date of birth, my place of birth, and the time of the day I was born. And she entered all that in, in information into a computer program. It brought up an astrological chart, and from that chart, she was able to accurately identify what I've been doing the last eight years and what I'm into. And this is somebody I just met. Yeah, I never told her anything else about myself. Yeah, this experience proved to me that I was born to do the things I just mentioned and that astrology is the real deal. And just for the record, uh, the horoscope section in your newspapers doesn't even scratch the surface of what astrology really is. Uh, there's so much more to it than just what you've been what you've been reading in your newspaper's horoscope section. Yeah, I think people should look into astrology. You'll gain a better understanding of yourself and others as well. Yeah, that's just my opinion. And I think it's just fitting that this astrological reading I had took place on on a November 11th. You know, 1111, the light work, the light workers number. Amazing, isn't it? And yes, I'm a firm believer in angelic numerology. And I'll post more information on this in the description box. Yeah, I've experienced these numbers for years now. Uh, anyway, that's my story. Uh, I think it's important for you to figure out what your role, uh, what your role is on this prison planet. <laughs> yeah, I understand it's not easy, but it's not always easy. But nonetheless we all have roles to play. And once you find out what you were born to do, uh, this can at least ease the loneliness that some of you are feeling. 
and can even attract like like-minded people in your life. Yeah, so for all you TFLers, those who are struggling to find a romantic partner, yeah, this is something to keep in mind. Uh, I would also suggest connecting with people at the soul level and not based on material items or social status or personal gain, but at the soul level. The biggest reason why relationships break up so often is because people are not connecting at the soul level. Uh, you know, Mark Twain once said, the two most important days of your, of your life are the day you were born and the day you find out why. And I've been lucky enough to find out the latter, so now it's your turn to do the same if you haven't already done so. Alright, later.